Hey everyone, this is Nate Scott here, www.asknatescott.com, here in Jacksonville, Florida, at the Men's Health Summit. Phenomenal, phenomenal turnout. And guys, I want to take a quick opportunity to introduce you to some young men that actually got a chance to sit in the session that I gave today. And I want you to hear directly from these young men about the value of the content that was shared, what they got out of it, and really about what was going on in their head as I was delivering the content. You know, if you're not delivering content and communicating in a way that people can actually understand and relate, then you got to question yourself, what are you really doing? It's time to stop talking at these young men and women and actually start giving them information that's relatable, but you got to earn that respect versus that just expecting that's just going to be there. And so to that end, I'm going to start over here. This is uh, uh, my name is Keyshawn Price, and I was involved with this the thing that he was talking about in the men's conference. And Basically, when, when I first seen them, they was introduced to him and stuff, saying how he was a millionaire and stuff like that. And when I seen him, I was like, man, this man here, he, he ain't no millionaire. Look at the way he dressed. And I was judging him. But then when he started talking about the things that he did and the things that he achieved while he was young, I started thinking to myself, wow, okay, he actually did this stuff. And I looked at him as a different way. And a lot of us young kids and the young teens in the world, that's how we do people. We judge them before we actually get to know them. And when you get to know them, they actually become a really good person and that's what we learned. That's what I learned basically from talking to him and from hearing his testimony and the things that he has shared with me today. Thank you. How y'all doing? My name is Material. I go by Naquan. Um, like you said though, like we was, when, we was, when he first, when they were talking about him, like we, we and when they was introducing him, we was sitting in the back and we was talking about him, we were laughing, we were joking, we were making fun of him, we were stereotyping like most of us do. And then when he came in and he started talking, we, I, didn't, I really got interested in it. And like, people do, people sitting there talking, and I was like, just be quiet, I'm gonna listen. And I really got caught up in it, and I started listening. So. Uh, my name is Jim Jones. My name is Jim Jones. Like they said that, that he would come and be in there and all that. I was back there with my father, and they playing around, having fun, like no kids do. And that, we talking about that he got an education and all that, that made me want to do something like him in my life. Awesome, guys. Hey, what I want to do is, you know, we got, we got these young men here that are really, really all about what I'm about. You see, I'm just like them. You see, you get, don't get it all twisted with what my background really is. You see, when I was in high school, my goal was to play college basketball. I played down my academic success because I wanted to make sure that I was a part of the group. And so you got to understand, there's that pressure. And the reality of it is, as I work my butt off, because some of them ask me about what it's going to take, it takes you actually being fully committed to you pursuing your passion and doing what it takes. It also makes sure that you get those grades so that you don't want to be another smart, I mean another athlete that doesn't have the grades to actually get to the next level. I see it all the time. And so even though when my scholarship fell through, I turned down my academic scholarship and enlisted in the Army, still focus on one particular goal, and that was to actually be a college basketball player. Enrolled in college courses, continued to play sports, and as a result, doors opened up. I got an opportunity to go to West Point. And to that end, things just went fast forward. Got an opportunity, graduated from West Point, engineering sociology degree, went on. But the week I graduated from West Point, and here's what's critical, I got introduced to the world of personal growth and development and entrepreneurship, and that laid the foundation for me to make my first million by 32. And here's what I want to talk to you about, simply this. Invest in yourself. Get you a library card. Start hanging around successful people. Start finding those people that have what you desire and start asking those people, what do you do and how do you do it? And start aligning yourself with the people that actually have what you desire. Don't be another person that dies at 25 and wait to be buried at 65. You've got too much life to live. You've got opportunities out here. And here's the deal. At 19, when I walked the perimeter in Desert Storm, I said, Lord, if you allow me to make it back, I'll never waste a day of my life. And that's why I do what I do. My goal is to create a $10 million endowment fund to foster personal growth and development and entrepreneurship so that young men like this can actually go out there and pursue their dreams, their aspirations, get past those labels, and actually go out here and get this thing done. Because the bottom line is there are people right now that are breaking their necks to get over to this country because it's still the land of opportunity. And so again, this is Nate Scott, www.asknatescott.com, 904-838-2623. If you're someone out there that's a parent or someone that right now wants to actually get it in and you want to really invest in yourself and have a real world MBA, massive bank account, then get at me.
Until next time, this is Nate Scott. Take care and be blessed.